Today we are going to be making a snow UI style in Photoshop for a Roblox game. So let's get right into it. Run on right single tool and I'm just gonna make this put this up to maybe 20. Let's make a shape. Just like that. And I'm gonna make this blue. Alright, now select your pencil, make a new layer. And we're gonna make the ice pattern. So we could do maybe up here, up here, down, go around, like that. There we go. Let's finish this off. And I'm gonna make this white. Hold Alt and click in between to clip it in. And now I can just take this, make it overlay, just drop it down the opacity, something like that. And copy this over. Just give it some texture, just like that. It's very very simple. All right, now I'm gonna go into the blending options on this layer. I'm gonna add an inner shadow. Make this completely white, all the way up and change the angle to negative 90 that one right here and maybe just lower it a little bit let me see how this looks all right looks fine okay i'm also going to add a gradient overlay Make sure it's going from black to white and just change the mode to overlay. And put this on 50. It's fine. Alright, now we're gonna make the actual snow part. So make a new layer, take your pencil, and I'm gonna start off over here. Just click and drag. Call Alt and click here to cancel the curved line. So just make your snow however you want. Like that. Let's go up here. There we go. Let's go across. Shape. I'm gonna make the color a nice blue. Let's make sure it fits properly. So now duplicate this. All right. I'm gonna hit Control G and then Control E to make this into a rasterized layer. Into a rasterized layer. Hold Control and click on the thumbnail. Select Modify and Contract by 10. That should work. Go to your rectangular marquee tool, right click and select inverse and just hit backspace. Now we can change the color of this to a lighter shade and just repeat this process. So let's select modify contract, maybe this time by eight. Select inverse, just delete, color overlay and just make it brighter. All right, now we are going to take the original layer, duplicate it, make it a duplicate right underneath it. Just make this, this is going to be the shadow, just like that. All right, now that we have the snow, we're going to take this and duplicate this as well. We're going to make this larger. I'm just going to move this underneath. Make this color a lot darker there we go and to finish it off i could just group up everything and add a stroke maybe white nah maybe something like that and as you can see we have a completed snow button that's the basic gist of it obviously there's more complicated ways you can do it make it look a lot more nicer but this is the basic idea um i hope you enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe and check out our website robotsvisuals.com and i will see you in the next video Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases.